the TEA commissioner. Brett, I can only imagine what the mood was like in that room. Oh, Alex, it was, let's, let's just call it tense. <laughs> what started out as a friendly Chamber of Commerce speech by the Texas Education Commissioner turned into a lecturing by a group of school administrators upset with his policies. Now, TEA Commissioner Mike Morath tried to convince business leaders that public education in Texas is doing just fine under his watch. But then watch what happens next. Their teachers are sticking around a lot longer than they used to. This is better for our teachers. But the thing is, it's a lot better for our kids. But it would have been better for Morath if the chamber hadn't the also Dallas invited three North well, Texas school superintendents, all of whom Brett. lectured the commissioner Brett. and state lawmakers like for doing little nothing. last session to improve education or teacher pay. What we all, I think, in this room could agree on is we need to pay teachers more, period. We need to pay teachers more. But to me, it's, and not just to me, to our teachers, because we hear from them, it's demoralizing. But the added red tape, the added things we'll put on to them made them leave. And now we're filling up with novice teachers, and so our kids are still the ones who need the support. Thank you. Thank you. Now that showdown comes just ahead of Governor Abbott's October special session we just mentioned. It could be quite interesting once politics and all politicians get in the room together. Those superintendents are now digging in for a fight, which may be why Education Commissioner Mike Morath left the event before it was over yesterday and before the media could get his response to that rough reception. Guys, back to you. Yeah, Brett, I mean, we're talking about it yesterday, this whole A through F accountability ratings issue, multiple school districts involved in a lawsuit. Uh, I'm guessing that issue likely came up with the uh, commissioner there at the event. Absolutely, it did. And, and those superintendents that were there yesterday, very suspicious uh, of the timing, which is why all these school districts are filing these lawsuits against the TEA right now, saying this is pure politics. The governor announced that special session yesterday. They knew it was coming. And they're saying, yeah, they're all in favor of raising the bar for those accountability ratings. But they say it needs to be done incrementally. This all at once thing is going going to make public schools look bad at a time Governor Abbott wants to send public school money to private schools. We'll be keeping an eye on it. All right, Brett, thanks so much.